This video describes the bivariate density statlet, a new procedure in StatGraphics Centurion version 17. The bivariate density statlet estimates the joint distribution of two random variables. It displays the distribution using three formats, a three-dimensional frequency histogram, a bivariate normal density function, and a non-parametric density function estimate. I've loaded some sample data into the Stack Graphics data sheet. This file shows the body temperature, gender, and heart rate of 130 individuals. To begin, I'm going to create a basic scatter plot. So I'll select Plot, Scatter Plots, XY Plot from the Stack Graphics menu. I'm going to put heart rate on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis. This will create a basic xy plot. You can see quite a bit of variation in both temperature and heart rate. You may also sense some positive correlation between the two variables. To create a histogram, I'll go to Statlets, Bivariate Density. Temperature will be sample 1, heart rate will be sample 2. When I press OK, the statlet will show me a three-dimensional histogram. Initially, the statlet has divided both temperature and heart rate into 22 classes. I think I'll bring that down a little bit, move to the toolbar here, and bring it down to perhaps 16. That might give me a little better picture of this data. I can rotate the histogram around to see a little bit better some of the bars in the back. The next thing I want to do with this data is fit a bivariate normal distribution. The bivariate normal distribution assumes that the marginal distributions of each of the two variables is normal. To characterize data using a bivariate normal distribution, you need to estimate five parameters. The mean of each of the variables, the standard deviations of each of the variables, and the correlation between them. To display the bivariate normal density function, I'll click on the radio button labeled normal distribution. This shows the bivariate normal density, which has one well-defined peak. It also has bell-shaped curves along both the x-axis and the y-axis. To display the density in two dimensions, I can check this box on the Statlet toolbar. Note the positive orientation of the principal axis because of the positive correlation between temperature and heart rate. Our final approach will be to use a non-parametric density estimator. The non-parametric density estimator does not assume that the data come from any particular distribution. The way it works is that at any location, any XY location, where we wish to estimate the density. We'll create a weighted count of the closest P percent of the observed data points. The weights will depend on the distance from the location XY to each of these nearest neighbors. Using a small P, a small number of nearest neighbors, gives a local estimate of the density function, which is often fairly ragged. If you use a large P, a lot of nearest neighbors, you'll get a smoother, more global estimate. I'll return one more time to the bivariate density statlet. Let's put it back in three dimensions, and then check the radio button for non-parametric density estimate. You'll see that initially 
it'll plot the density function using a p of 60 percent. This gives quite a smooth estimate of the density. I can vary p using this slider. I can make it more smooth or more jagged as I change p. You'll also see something quite interesting if I move to 33 percent. With this value of p, there are two well-defined peaks or modes, suggesting that the distribution of temperature and heart rate may be bimodal. You can also see the location of the two modes quite nicely if I switch back to two dimensions. The bivariate density statlet is a great way to visualize the distribution of two random variables.